All right, so this week on this video, we are going to be taking a look at the Vulcan Omni Pro 220 from Harbor Freight. So, um, I'm going to give you guys some news here about this machine. But, uh, yeah, seven years ago, they sent me this to try it out, and they even uh, threw some gear with it a welding helmet and some gloves, and yeah. So they asked me to take a look at it and they gave it to me so that was pretty awesome of them to do but I know you guys out there it's a summer and you guys are out there looking for uh, a new hobby or getting into welding and you're gonna run through these videos and these types of machines and you might just have a general interest on this Vulcan Omni Pro 220 this is a multi-process welder make take stick uh, does flux core spool gun welding yeah you could get a little foot pedal for it which i do have they didn't send me that i bought that separately but um anyway seven years here's the update guys i'm sorry to break it to you but when it comes to this welder it's still working it is totally awesome i love this machine the helmet still works the gloves check it out they still look good for seven years. This helmet does too. Eh, it's all scratched up, but yeah, that band's already all worn out. <laughs> Dang. And but yeah, I mean it it's Harbor Freight's highest quality welder, I guess you could say. The Vulcan Vulcan line of welders, anyways. And this machine is still kicks butt. And I gotta do some uh, welding here today. So I got the electrodes and I got some electrodes and my cables out. I'm going to do some uh, stick welding here. Or electrode welding on a sifter that I made. So this machine has seen so many projects gone, you know, through it. And yeah, I can't say enough good things about this machine. So I'm going to do some welding. I'm not going to do any live shots because I'm on a GoPro these days. So I can't take those fancy welding pictures. And I'm kind of scared to burn up this brand new uh, camera since it's all I have these days, but uh, I'll do some welding with some 6011 rods and then I'll do some 7018 rods put down some some nice uh, 7018 welds for you cry babies out there that Criticize everybody for their welds and sitting at the computer all day, but no. Yeah, sorry I'm not trying to pick a fight, but some of you guys are just ridiculous and I know a lot of people say, oh, Harbor Freight tools, they don't last. Oh, they're disposable. But now when it comes to this machine and not, well, let's just say Harbor Freight within the past eight to 10 years has been really upping their quality on their tools. So Harbor Freight ain't the uh, cheap tool store that it was once known for. They actually have good quality tools these days. So yeah. But anyways, um, I'm going to do some welding. I'll show you guys what I've done. And uh, I don't know what else to say. I mean, Jesus, Vulcan brand or Vulcan line of welders and accessories are really good. I mean, come on. Seven years beating up on these gloves. Eh, they look crispy. But you know what? They're still soft. They're still pliable, I guess. And they still going. Look at that. A little crispy. But yeah. If the gloves can last that long, I never had gloves last me for seven years. No way. Heck, I don't never. I don't think I've ever had a helmet last me for seven years. So, if you're looking for one of these machines, I definitely say get one because it is definitely worth what you're gonna put it through. But anyways, let me go ahead and get dressed. I'm still in sandals here, and uh, let me get all my gear on, and then I'll show you guys what this bad boy can do. Let's go ahead and turn on the machine. Oh, I should have cleaned it a little bit better. So, we are going to go to home. I'm not doing MIG. Let's go to stick. It tells me how to set up my machine. I actually set this up the wrong way. Let's go ahead and connect these correctly. They've beaten them up. I mean, you can see these are already falling off of the connectors there. 
but okay, let's go ahead and confirm. Our 6,000, 6011s I'll be putting on this. Diameter, 332nd, now I'll be doing 1 8 Thickness, I will be doing quarter inch. Let's see what it gives me for quarter inch. Output is off. Let's go ahead and turn it on. So I'm looking at 135 amps and all. I need, need less amperage. I need maybe about, let's go with 90. And that should be it. Ready to weld. My, I had to turn down the heat down to uh, 80 amps on the 6011. As you can see, it's kind of hot still, but uh, I just, I didn't even have to put a gusset. I ended up uh, finding out that there's some threads there and that's what ended up cracking. So I just ended up shoving some of that 6011 in there and uh, gummed it up there. <laughs> These are farm wells, so yeah. But uh, anyways, here's some 7018s that I did. And I don't know why I'd put 7018s on something like this anyways, but ow, that's hot. But anyways, um, yeah, it's just to get me going again so I can start sifting some of this dirt. But uh, let me go ahead and get on the tractor and I'll show you what this thing is capable of. Let's see if those welds hold up right.
right, so that was the video or update on the Vulcan Omni Pro 220 from Harbor Freight. So, yeah, this machine kicks butt. I love it. I just love this machine, though. There goes my automatic light. <laughs> All right, there we go. But uh, does an excellent job. The welds held just fine. And every time I need something repaired, welded, that's my machine, my go-to machine. No more Millers, no more Lincolns for me. That's my one and only sole machine. Hopefully, maybe I'll get me a Pro TIG. Uh, it's like a Pro TIG 205 or something. I don't know. But one of the Harbor Freight stop of the line Vulcan uh, TIG machines. And that one does ACDC. And um, yeah, that's my dream machine after this one. But for now, this does the job, gets everything done, everything that I need to do. And well, I just love this machine. I am pretty thankful to Harbor Freight for sending me this many years ago. I've done a lot of work with it and I still continue and I will and I'll never get rid of this machine. I don't know who's going to give up the ghost first, me or the machine, but yeah, I'm keeping this one and that's that's my, that's it. I mean, if you're looking for a machine that has some longevity to it, I would suggest this machine can you get something a little bit cheaper? Of course you can. You can get it for way cheaper. Are you going to get the same um, quality and longevity out of it? Who knows? But, I mean, it's your money. And if you decide you get something cheaper, well, I hope that it works out for you just like this has worked out for me. But if you want something that does last long, that's it. That is it. Just love that machine so much. But, um yeah even the accessories from harbor freight like the helm and the gloves jeez for to get seven years out of something like that, that that's just amazing so yeah we'll go ahead and uh come back to the 10 year review and see what if this one's still ticking or not i'm guessing it will though so i beat this up overheated it you know not overheated but over um I've gone over the duty cycle on it, and you think it would overheat and shut off, but nah, never. You run it in the summer, the winter, it's been used quite a bit. I think I welded one time, like, oh, I don't remember. It was a pair of ramps for a trailer, I know that. And I stayed until like 6 in the morning, or 7 in the morning, uh, building those ramps. And I had to put like a whole bunch of gussets and everything. And I just, that thing all night, overnight, just, it took a beating. And I never overheated it once. And I know it passes duty cycle, you know. So, <laughs> I don't know. That machine, it's high quality. So, even though whatever the duty cycle is, I, I keep forgetting. But, I mean, I don't know. I just get on that thing and I, I wind on it. So, I don't even pay attention to, to the duty cycles anymore. So that machine, yeah, I I got my uh, MIG on there. And I use it for MIG and stick, mainly stick nowadays because I'm doing a lot of farm repairs and stuff like that. So uh, this is my go-to for the stick, stick welding anyways. Um, I don't know what else I could say. Nothing but good things for this machine though. And, I, and then not only just because Harper Frey sent it to me and gave me this with the gear. I mean, they they have really stepped up their quality in all these years. And I know that Harbor Freight is known for, like, disposable tools of the past and stuff like that. But, nah, their quality is out there now. Like, they're actually, their prices have gone, too, gone up. Better quality tools, of course, is going to cost more. And, um, yeah, I think this is just one of those tools that, that is worth every penny. So if you're in the market for one of these, hesitating, thinking of pulling the trigger on it, I would. But, uh, anyways, I think I'll go ahead and leave it there. I want to thank you guys for watching this video, and I will see you guys on the next one.